I'm, I'm Jerry O'Brien, and uh, I'm, this is going to kind of be our transition from the cocktail hour uh, to being seated for dinner. And uh, before doing that, uh, Warren and I wanted to thank you for, for coming to the event. Uh, Warren's going to have some remarks uh, during dessert uh, and share a, another wonderful one of Warren's stories. I don't know, Warren, how many more stories about uh, smoking cigars with communists you might have, but they're always very well received. Uh, we had our, our LPAC, our Limited Partner Advisory Council uh, meeting just before uh, coming here for the cocktail hour, and we had a, a really robust conversation about brand building. Uh, and, and, you know, we're the firm now, O'Brien Staley Partners, is eight years old. It was founded in 2010, uh, and we have a fantastic thing going. Uh, what we re recognize is that we are rigorously analytical, uh, and that's well received by all of our LPs. Uh, if you were to put us on a spectrum, uh, we're probably on the extreme end of analytical, and if Elon Musk is on the other end, uh, we're, we're completely opposite from that. Uh, and we, we did a little uh, brand uh, inventory and evaluated uh, how the O'Brien Staley Partners brand compared externally to internally, very consistent. Uh, but we recognize that on a 10-year trajectory, we need to diversify the brand, and maybe we could have just one little piece of 21st century media. Uh, you know, when we go onto campuses to recruit, uh, we're well received by the people who are in the room, but there are a lot of people who won't come to the room because they don't know who we are. Uh, and so we decided we need to create an about us video. So our target audience is, you know, as I said, current and future employees, uh, but you have everybody as your audience whenever you create anything uh, in, in the 21st century. Uh, so of course, investors are our audience, competitors are our audience, regulators are our audience. So we hired a, a local firm here and, and explained to them you know, the, the history of the firm and where we want the firm to be heading, uh, and, and they helped us to craft our story. Uh, and so what I'd like to do is to share with everybody our very first uh, About Us corporate video. So uh, if you'll turn your attention to the, the monitors around the room and please enjoy. In 2010, two accomplished figures in finance got together and took stock of the investment landscape. What did Jerry O'Brien and Warren Staley envision? With their well-earned reputations for investment discipline, risk management, and corporate governance, they founded O'Brien Staley Partners to do something deliberate in investing. Invest in what they want, where they want, with whom they want. Jerry and Warren launched OSP with a curated team of seasoned professionals, considered the best in their field, and who shared their creative vision. Together, the team developed a following for seeing intrinsic value in unloved US CNI credits when others didn't. From TARP securities of community banks in the wake of the Great Recession, to church credits when more traditional investors lost faith in their bonds, and from economic development loans when America's municipalities suffered deficits, to discontinued business lines like aircraft and yacht finance and the turbulent aftermath of bank consolidations, or power line service and high lift rental equipment credits when commodity prices plummet, even Puerto Rican corporate credits when markets are spooked by the island's broken politics. OSP's long-term success in these neglected niches led to it being trusted by a broad spectrum of institutional investment partners, spanning university endowments, hospital and religious plans, municipal and corporate pension plans, and more. The trust earned through OSP's value investing expertise rapidly expanded to include impact investing, adding to an already impressive range of investment partners and accolades. The Wall Street Journal and the University of Chicago both published articles recognizing OSP for the significant contributions its impact investing is making to disadvantaged communities. These investments have fidelity to both investors and society by delivering consistent market rate returns and measurable societal impact. From real job growth to energy efficiency to intangible assets like civic pride, the impact is being felt all over the country. In similar fashion, OSP's nationwide loan servicer is thriving, 
Amerinat's veteran team of servicing experts is reshaping their industry by supporting underserved communities, helping hundreds of clients across the country successfully manage their economic development and housing assistance loans. As it grows, O'Brien's Daily Partners will broaden its perspective to span new asset classes and geographies, and continue to put forsaken opportunities on a solid foundation to derive benefits for its investors, its team, and society. But it will always be framed by the founder's core principles and its Minnesota roots. Step back and the bigger picture is revealed. O'Brien's Daily Partners has assembled all the pieces to realize its vision of a renaissance in investing. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, thank you. And, and Matt, thank you. Because when you clap, I know we got something right. So thank you very much. I got a question earlier. Uh, you know, where is all this art theme coming from? And uh, I, I shared it. I actually it was written up in an article recently. But I uh, maybe some of you know uh, that I actually went to the University of Michigan as an undergrad. And I started as an art history major. And between my sophomore and the junior years, I interviewed for uh, an internship with Sotheby's in New York. And I uh, got a call, and they said, congratulations, Jerry. Uh, you know, we'd like to hire you. In fact, two departments uh, would like to have you. You get your choice between the two departments. And I was thrilled. And I said to the HR person, I said, uh, uh, thank you. I mean, that's great. Can I call you on Monday? Can I think about it, get back to you? Absolutely. Call us on Monday. Uh, and I said, you know, that's going to make a big difference. But is there any difference in the pay between one and the other that might tilt me towards one department? No, no, they're both free. And I honestly said, I said, free? I, I think you're misusing the word. Do you mean gratis? And the, it went downhill from there. But the, uh, the, the human resource director said, you know, Jerry, uh, we're looking for people who love art for art's sake. And I said, yeah, I, I do love art for art's sake, but I work for pay. And, and, and uh, needless to say, I changed my major. And uh, I'm, you know, I was... I was pretty good at art history. I'm generally a good student. Uh, uh, but I'm probably a better at economics and finance and investments than I ever could have been in art history. So it's the path not taken, but it continues to echo throughout. And so you know, we, we use it as a metaphor for our investing. And last time we got together, we used it. And now we're obviously using it in a mosaic as we pull all the tiles together and the team, the team, the team, uh, and, and uh, present it forward. So anyway, thank you very much. If we could be seated, then I'm going to invite uh, our sommelier, uh, Leslie Miller, to speak a little bit about the wine pairings for tonight. Thank you very much. <laughs>